All right, welcome back to a brand new video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can protect our dashboard route on the front end to prevent users from actually being able to uh, access a guild based off of the guild ID, even though they don't have permissions to view that page, right? So what, what exactly do I mean by that? So let's say, for example, right now you can see that I have access to five servers, or at least I should have access to five servers, right? Based off of the way that we configured our uh, Get Mutual guilds, right? We check to see if the user is an admin, but again, you can check to see whatever permissions you want, right? It doesn't have to be administrator. That's just what I am setting it as. So if you look at my Discord, well, I'm in about 11 servers and uh, only five out of those 11 servers, I actually have the necessary permissions to uh, you know, configure the dashboard page. But you'll notice that if I were to copy the ID of any one of these servers, let's say if I copy the ID of the Discord API, okay? And what I'll do is I'll go uh, click on one and then I'll just paste in that ID. So this is the ID of the Discord API server. And if I uh, go, go to that page, you're gonna see that's gonna work. Now, even though some of the API calls might fail, because even if we tried to fetch the guild details from the guild API or from the Discord's uh, guild endpoint, right? It would still throw an error because that's what it will do. But it's a bad experience because we should not let the user be able to access a page that they should not have access to. So how do we fix this? Well, what we're going to do is whenever we make a call to this page, right, to this Next.js page, we're going to grab this uh, this route parameter. So that's just going to be the guild ID. We're going to pass that as a parameter to the API, our own express API. So we're going to have to write the endpoint for that. And that endpoint is going to verify that the user has the necessary permissions to actually configure this guild. And if they don't, which means that they're not in the guild or they are, but they aren't an admin or they don't have the minimum permissions, right? then that means they should not be able to see this page. So we'll redirect them back to the menu page. Okay, that will provide a better experience. So let's go ahead and implement the endpoint. We're gonna hop over to the Express API. All right, so I'm in the API project right now. Well, I actually have both projects open up right now, so it's easier for us to uh, see it because we're gonna have to modify the API and then we're gonna have to modify the code in the client. So before we get started, I just want to mention something real quick that on the guilds uh, controller, uh, instead of sending back an object and then passing in the guilds as a property and then that property mapping to the value, I just sent back guild itself as an array, right? Because guild itself is an array. And before I was actually sending it back as an object. So if you actually try to call the API, um, in like the last couple of videos where you try to get the guilds, it may have thrown an error because you were trying to reference data.guilds instead of just referencing the, the data as an array. So if you run into an error, this is how you fix it. Just change it to res.send and then guilds with no curly braces uh, wrapped around. I just wanted to mention that real quick that I made that change. And I'm going to do one more quick thing before we actually get started. And that's just going to be inside the routes auth index.ts. I'm going to change res.send right over here for this redirect URL. So instead of just sending back some JSON, I'm going to actually redirect the user to our dashboard page. So we'll redirect them to the menu page, like just like that. Okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's just two small things I just want to change real quick. Because right now, if we try to authenticate, it will just redirect the user back to the API route and we want them to redirect to the dashboard. All right, now that we've gotten that covered, let's go into the uh, guilds controller. Well, let's first set up the route first. So let's go inside routes, inside guilds, inside index.ts. So we have an endpoint to fetch all the menu guilds, right? To fetch all the mutual guilds for the menu page. We need an endpoint to check the permissions. So I'm going to set up a get request. So this endpoint is going to allow the user to you know check to see if they can actually configure that guild. So we're going to go ahead and expect the user to pass in the, let's see, I think what we'll do is guilds and then the guild ID slash permissions. So guild ID slash permissions. So the way that the user will uh, make, a, make a call to this API, it would look something like slash guilds or 
slash API slash guilds, and then one, two, three, permissions. So that's pretty much how the call will look like. So, and I'm just gonna change this to ID instead of guild ID. And then let's pass in the is authenticated middleware because we wanna make sure that the user is in fact authenticated. And it will pass in a function that's going to come from the controllers file. So we're gonna go back to controllers, inside guilds and then inside index.ts. And we're gonna go ahead and create a new function called, uh, let's see, get guild permission controller. And we're gonna pass in the request and response object. Now, what exactly do we have to do inside this function? Well, this function is supposed to check to see if the user has the necessary permissions. So what we can do is we can actually fetch the uh, we can actually fetch the guilds. Uh, so we can basically do the same logic that we're doing inside get guild controller, but we really just need to get the mutual guilds, and then we're gonna take the parameter the ID right the guild ID that is passed as a route parameter. We can check to see if that ID is actually inside the array. And if it is, then that means we're going to go, that means the user has permissions. So when I say array, I really just mean that if that ID can, can be found inside the array of partial guild objects, right? If there's some partial guild that has that ID that the user is passing in from the client to our API, then that means that the user does have the correct permissions to access this guild. Right. And I'll, and again, you'll, you'll see, you'll see what it's going to look like. Cause I'm going to console log everything and you'll, you'll see what's going to look like. But what we're going to do is we're going to recall this get mutual guilt service because, well, think about what this function does, right? If I can just go to this function, it calls all the bot guilds. It calls all the get all, all the user guilds. It filters out based off the uh, permissions. And then it returns all the guilds where the, uh, where the uh, filtered out guilds based off the permissions and the ones that the bot is in. If it filters out all of those that are um, that are not mutual, so this will in return give us back all of the guilds that we should only be able to access. Okay, so we're going to use this function and we're going to call it to get those guilds, and then we're going to use that return value, which is just an array of partial guilds, right? And we're going to go through every single element and see if there is some guild, some partial guild that actually has the ID that we are testing against, that we are checking to see if the user has access to. Okay, so let's take this step by step. So we're gonna get, we're gonna get the uh, parameter, the request, uh, the route parameter from the request object. So I'll go ahead and grab const ID from rec.params. Okay, and what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pass in this ID well, not not ID. Sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and call the get mutual services uh, function. But we're gonna need the user ID. So to do that, we need to go ahead and grab the user object. So I'm gonna do that same thing up top over here. Const user equals rec user. And then we'll literally just go ahead and copy this code and modify a little bit. Don't worry, we're not going to uh, you know. Copy the same exact thing. We'll remove that res.send because all we want to do is we want to go ahead and call get mutual guild service. We want to get back all the guilds. Okay. And then what we want to do is I'll create a variable called valid. And then we want to go ahead and reference that guilds array. And I'm going to go ahead and call the sum method. And we basically just want to check to see if there's some guild where it's guild ID is equal to the ID that's coming from the route parameter okay so i'll call this parameter guild okay so this parameter over here is going to be a predicate function so it takes in a well, it's just a function and that function's parameter it's the current guild element that is being processed and what we want to do with that guild object is we want to check to see if that guild's id is equal to id and that id is is the route parameter right which is the guild id okay now, if this guilds.sum returns true, so it'll return true if there happens to be some element inside this guilds array where this where this condition passes. So if there is in fact some guild 
partial object where where it has an id that matches the id that's coming from the route parameter then it's going to return true if there's a, if there's at least one right and so if this is true then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and return 200 which means that the user does have permission if it returns false then we'll return a 403 okay which means forbidden which just means that you don't have the correct permissions so we'll do return valid so we'll use a ternary operator so if valid is true which means that the user does have permission we'll send back a 200 uh actually let me do status 200 i wonder if i could do send status i, I think send status might be deprecated i think I think it might be deprecated. Oh, actually, no. It's res.send and passing the status code is deprecated. So send status is actually fine. So we'll send back a 200 because we don't really need to send back any JSON or anything like that. Uh, and then we'll send back a 403. Okay. And so let's go ahead and take this function. And we're going to go ahead and pass this in. So what is it called again? Get guild permissions controller. Okay, and so now what's going to happen is we're going to go ahead and call this API and then it's going to run through this logic. So it will call the Discord API to get all of the guilds. Okay, but let's go ahead and try this out. So let's go to port 3001. Let's go to slash API slash guilds. And then we're going to have to pass the guild ID and then permissions. So you're going to see it's going to give me a forbidden. And it makes sense too because the ID that I passed in one two three four five six is not found inside that filtered array that is the return value of get mutual guild service, okay? And that's really all we gotta do because because remember we're really testing against the filtered the final version of the filtered array that gives us all of the mutual guilds, right? Because if we're not letting the user see all of the guilds based off of whatever get mutual guilt returns, why would we want to really change the underlying logic, right? It wouldn't really make much sense. Because for example, if you don't show a specific guilt on the menu, but you still let the user access it, even if they know the ID, it wouldn't really make too much sense. So that's why we're reusing the same logic. Hopefully that makes sense. Now let's go ahead and pass in an actual uh, ID of a guild that I'm in. So let's copy that ID, let's paste that in. And you're going to see it gives me an OK. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the front end or the Next.js application. And we're going to go inside pages. So let me actually close out all of these files from the API folder. And then we're going to go inside the dashboard page. And then we're going to go inside. Uh, let's see. We're going to go inside dashboard. And we can actually use a middleware for this. I think using a middleware is, is actually just fine. So what we'll do in the next video is we'll go ahead over to the Next.js app and we're gonna have to call that API that we just implemented. So that way we can actually protect our, our, uh, our dashboard from users trying to access guilds that they should not be able to access. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out.